Hey guys, Chase here from Entopology. Uh, today I'm just going to go through a brief but spooky Entop Live. Um, we're just going to demonstrate how you can use some uh, pictures to go ahead and carve a pumpkin. So first things first, I brought in a pumpkin here, just a CAD model. Um, as you can see though, it doesn't really look like a pumpkin. It doesn't have quite the texture. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and apply some texture. I can do that very easily using our uh, noise function that um, we often use for applying a texture to the surface of parts. After I uh, have the texture on there, I can go ahead and do a shell operation. And all this is going to do is uh, clean out my pumpkin's insides pretty easily. Once we're happy with the shell and the texture, we can go ahead and bring in a picture. Um, we actually just wrote a little uh, script to turn any uh, picture into a point map essentially. Let me uh, zoom in on this here. So you can see I have my face here that I want to apply the texture to. I'm going to go ahead and use this face to uh, cut out a segment of my pumpkin. You'll notice this is a pretty low res um, but I'll do a quick high res render here so you guys can take a look. And you'll notice on the screen is a very, very spooky looking pumpkin. Exactly what we want. Um, so carrying on here, we've realized uh, we've brought in this picture, but this is NTOP, so um, we do have this entire workflow saved. So what we can do now, if we determine that this face wasn't scary enough, is we can go ahead and replace it maybe with a more spooky looking face, like this one here. So all we have to do is take out the uh, the first face, and again, that's just a point map um, run, and replace it with our more spooky looking face. And you'll see the workflows uh, repopulate. And in no time, I'll have my textured and carved out spookier, spookier face. And you can see that one below. Again, I can go in here and do a quick high res render. And you'll see just how spooky that face is. Carrying on, so the pumpkin at this point, it's carved, but you know, it's not really scary enough. I'm just not satisfied with it. So what I decided to do was go ahead and bring in one of these uh, robot spiders. And I wanted to just uh, put some points, some random points, on maybe this, um, this input geometry here. And I can choose any points, but I decided to kind of uh, ramp some points from the spadunko here to try and make the, the robot spiders uh, crawl out of this top. And it's super easy again in NTOP to then um, orient these spiders all over wherever you see the points. And from there, I can turn my pumpkin back on. Let's see here. I can add maybe a little spaduncle. And then to finish it all off, I can add a, uh, some lattice structures. And I'm just going to render this in high, a higher res here. So we can really see how spooky it is. Perfect. So now you can see our new uh, very spooky looking face, our nice pumpkin texture, and all of these robot spiders crawling out of the, uh, the top of this pumpkin with our uh, lattice spider web. And the last thing to do once you design a pumpkin like this is to light it up with a candle. And that's exactly what I did here. Um, so we can get a nice little uh, picture of our pumpkin here. And to light it up, I just used a uh, pretty much stress results, but just a distance from a plane. So I hope you guys like pumpkin carving in NTOP 101. And uh, please feel free to reach out if you guys have any questions at all. Um, respond to sales at ntopology.com or uh, me personally. 
Thanks. Happy Halloween.